and what you guys did because I said that I had a beautiful voice last night. And um, Melton might give me a song deal. Don't worry about them jackets up there. Indeed. Oh. Um. Okay. What's that got to do with me? Everything. Carver and Corey are going to sing a duet together about being in love. And Mike, we need you to write the song. Uh. Well, that's awkward. How do we? How whatever to be continued? Yeah, let's continue this. But let me stop this. So guys, these are my hair earrings. Yeah, they're really, they're in right now. So don't mind my hair earrings. I might keep them for the video. Yeah. So, oh. yeah, my earrings are really cute. Yeah, this one is like jiggly. This one is also jiggly. Uh, uh. Yeah, this is this is really good. Just... <clears throat> mm. No. Talking louder than I do in the up uh, in my other videos because um one of my friends said they wouldn't hear me so I'm just talk louder. I don't be missing somebody. Blah 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 blah. <laughs> A duet? Seriously, saying you want me to record a song? Why? The whole thing is a little excessive. The okay, don't you think? That's ex the little Mike. They are in love. That's why Mike is supposed to know we're faking. Right in love, but don't you think you're exploiting, exploiting, ex? I don't know. Their relationship is just a little too much. Corey isn't just used to any of this stuff. I don't see how any of this concerns you. You get paid to write hits, not think. Besides, Corey can handle it, can't you? I can handle it. I really don't want to take a duet with him, so I don't know. No, this yes, there's a roar. Shut up, it one. I want to make both of them mad. Yeah, of course I can. I know what I'm getting. I was getting into besides blah blah blah. It doesn't matter what I think, does it? Shut up, Carver. You've been so sweet yesterday. No, not really. Of course not. Fine. My gripe to the song and and I sing it crazy. Over the public goes crazy about it. Uh. I got the deal. Go on tour. No one really lives happily ever, ever. Sounds easy enough. Maybe for you. Great. It's all of them. Mike, work your magic right. Great. I'm headed to the studio. I guess I'll go work on the next biggest hit. Molly, I have to chat with Corey for a while. Okay. I'll see you later, Corey. Later, Molly. Why is he staring at me? Studying me? He makes me uncomfortable. Mike seems a little invested in you. Are you two acquainted with one another? Who is this guy? He seems to be dangerous to just be a music producer. We spoke briefly last night at the party. I hope you understand the gravity of the situation the car is in. His career, right? His career. If you do anything that messes up, you have to answer to me. Is that understood perfectly clear? Good! I'll see you.
See you later, Miss Rose. The guy stares at me, which is called really involved. What is called really called really involved? Oh yeah, look at this. Let's go see. Stephanie, right? I appreciate you. I appreciate if you didn't sneak up on me while I'm trying to clean. Uh, sorry. I'm supposed to remember my name. Why wouldn't I? I'm just the help. And the help deserves to be called by their names, too. You were court. You were one court when we met at the club, weren't you? Yeah. I thought I recognized you. I... I thought she was just a friend of yours. I have no idea that Corey will be attached to Kyber. I I didn't recognize you. It was dark. It happens, but I need you to do a favor, Stephanie. What is it? I need you to give me Corey's number. What? No. I'm not getting involved in this, Mike. It was one night thing. That's it. Everyone will be better off if you don't, if you just forget about it. No. She's... In over her head with the carpet, you know what she's involved in. She has no idea. And that's exactly why you need to leave her alone for both of you. You know what Milton is capable of. I don't want to get involved in this. You work for Kyra, you're getting involved. Please stop me. Help me out. Fine, just promise you'll be careful. I will. Her number is 555-0125. That is her number. Thanks, Stephanie. Yo, if he calls me, I'm ignoring you. Hopefully, you, there's a button like that. Oh my gosh. Oh my god. Don't mention it. Seriously, you did not get her number from me. Nobody will know. Also, it's gonna be even creepier when I ask. How do you remember? Let me show you the side of life today. What should we do? First is fall, and then we're gonna show my friend this. Okay, maybe another time. Let me get. Okay, 
What have I gotten myself into? I never, I need to get out of here. Oh, I need to get out of here and clear my mind. It's a little quick, it makes me think. This is the time for you as a player and you can listen to your thoughts. Have a nice enough thing to have in me. I was so much has happened in the past few days. What I went, what I went again to have my life back again. Just last week, Dave and I went to the movies. Just a few days ago, I set up all my talking to phone towers. And now I have all these designer clothes that I don't mention. I get to meet the number. But I never felt so alone. You lost all my thing of thoughts, and now you even know you say you were going to kill. Where am I? Go back down there. And you do that. I mean, you won't be wrong. Great, I'm in a part of town that I've never been. Who you know what it's safe? It's safe. Make your route much like it did before. This is just great. Thank goodness for you. And be a cute. Hey! Before you first went to the woods, you're pulling to an alley. Just. What do you want? I don't want to have. Anyway, I think I'm getting robbed again. Oh, shut up. I'm not here to rob you. You're not. Do I look like a criminal to you? You're covering your face and hair, so, yeah. You're so dense. What's the saddest show about the game? You can't walk around and close your head and talk like that. I saw you for almost 10 blocks and you didn't even know it. You never survive. You'll never survive the talk rocky if you walk around like a normal person. What are you talking about? Don't recognize me, huh? This is the sky is really good for it. Okay, I'm tired of this guy, so you don't tell me who you are or what you want to do. Fine, hold on. Do you recognize me? Do you recognize me? Melanie, why are you following me? Why does Melanie Sampson want with you, and why, and what will Mike reveal to you about you, Kareel? Find out the next chapter to be continued. Okay, guys, so I'm going to stop here because this chapter has been getting long, and I hope you all enjoyed this <clears throat> um, chapter, and tune in next time for some more, I'm sorry, fake love and true love. Mm -hmm.